Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here, and this is my close friend Joseph, and guess what you guys, he's also my business partner. We recently opened a salon together, and we also have a separate YouTube channel, so this tutorial is going to show you how I did this hairstyle on him, but if you'd like to, please check out our other channel, I'll link it down in the description box below. As always, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and please, if you're not a subscriber, don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned, you guys. Thank you. Alright Glam Fam, so we're going to begin with three sections of hair. You can see I already have it sectioned from one shoulder forward, the back section from each of the shoulders back, and the other section here from the shoulder forward, and we have them on a side part as you see here. Now I'm going to begin with the right side of his head, and we're going to start off by picking up a few strands, actually I've got like five here, and we're going to do it almost like a braid at first, where we're crossing over that middle strand, and then we'll bring the top strand, I'm going to pick up one more, and add it over the strand I just passed over. From there, I've got two strands that are going, and I'm just going to push this to the side so you guys can see me pick up the hair on the hairline. Now I'm going to go under and over that next strand. As I slide down, I'm going to go over and then come under the next strand. And then starting back out here, I'm picking up again. We're going to go, hold on, let me get it under and then over. And we're just going to continue that pattern. Now I'm going to go down the side of the head doing that pattern, which is going to leave me with several ends on the inside of the head. So then I'll go ahead and pick up and do the same thing from the inside of that section, as you guys will see. All right, and you guys can see I've run out of space on the nape, so now I'm gonna be working on this interior portion. We're just doing the same thing, picking up from that outer barrier and then bringing over, under, over, under, all the way down until you get to the bottom of the section. And you're just basically, once you run out of space from the scalp, you start treating it like one massive, like 10 strand braid and just pass over and under. Um, and basically this is just a standard basket weaving pattern. Now if I need to do a video that's just on basket weaving, please let me know and I will do one in a bit more detail. But I will tell you guys, you see a bit more detail on the left side of his head. So once we get there, you guys will be able to see a little bit better what I'm doing and I'll talk you through it all over again. Alright, and here in just a moment I'm going to turn this chair some so you guys can see a little bit better. I know it's getting difficult to see. So we'll go ahead and give it a turn. We're going to continue this process. So as you guys can see here, we've got that basket woven look here. And I'm just going to take a few strands. We're going to wrap it over the top of that section that we just basket wove and that middle section of the hair. Wrap all the way around and tuck through the top facing down towards the bottom. Pulling nice and snug, but you don't want to pull so tight that your client is in pain. And then from there, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side of the head. So we're picking up our sections and we're just going to basket weave like we did before. So I've got two over and under, and we're going to pick up another section. This one will go under and then over. And of course, it's a bit easier for me because I've been doing this for so long, but if you're just now starting out, just take your time. So here we're gonna go under and then over as we're heading backwards. And you're gonna just basically pay attention to your section and make sure that you are looking and saying, okay, do I need to go under first or over? If you just went under on that previous section then you would go over on the next one, like you guys are about to see here. So, just like this. And basically what you're looking to do is create that nice basket woven pattern. We're just gonna continue it all the way down. So hopefully you guys have picked it up. I'm gonna go ahead and show it up so that way you guys can pay attention.
just saw here, what I did is took that outside strand that was heading downward and I'm going to turn it into a strand that's going to head towards the inside. The reason why I'm doing that is because I don't have any more hair really there to kind of pull from. So I want to gradually turn this more into like a smaller section. It's easier to control. So we're just feeding it on in there. And if you ever need to make it smaller, that's exactly how you would do so. Now we're just going to continue this process and then once I get on down I'll go ahead and turn him some so you can see yet again and then we'll go ahead and continue this style on throughout the back. You guys can see here I went ahead and just added that in and we're just going to wrap it around. Now if you were looking to wear it down you would basically be done at this point. Now in this instance I really don't want to just leave it like this because to me it looks a little unfinished. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. We're going to give it one good twist across the back and then from there we'll go ahead and uh, roll it into like a little side bun type of thing. So we're going to twist the entire thing. This is going to help to hold the shorter ones together with the longer ones. And then I'm going to grab one of the long strands. You can also do this with like two or three if you don't want to put much stress on one lock. Um, but the pins are going to take away from any stress that would be there, just so you know. Then we're just going to pull it up to that section that we previously tied. Keep in mind, I'm not double knotting anything because trust me, one time through usually does it really well. You don't have to get crazy with these. Now the ends, I'm just going to roll and tuck underneath the previous basket woven section. And they'll pretty much stay in place. So from there, we're just going to go ahead, add a couple pins for security. Now, if you don't like pins, you can do like I typically would do and just sew it down. But this honestly was just for this video so I could show you guys how to do it. And Joseph was gracious enough to be my model. By the way, don't forget to check out our other channel, Tailored Style. I'll leave links in the description box down below if you'd like to check it out. It's also in the eye in the top right corner. And once you've got it pinned in place, this is what you have. So hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comment box down below. And until next time, you guys, stay glam. Bye-bye.